Hey, welcome back to Andy Demos. Today I'm taking a look at the Aurora Analog Flanger from Spaceman. As you heard, it's some classic flange tones, but also some really cool functionality with its built-in trigger and many modes on board. So let's check it out. The Spaceman Aurora is an all-analog bucket brigade-based flanger with a unique set of controls and modes to dial in both classic modulation and experimental spatial effects. A triangle wave flanger is at the heart of this pedal, with familiar controls such as rate, width, range, and regeneration to easily dial in that jet plane swoosh or lush chorus flange tones that emphasize various frequency ranges. Less common controls like output push beyond unity gain, and mix allows you to enter vibrato territory or back off those extreme settings and let the dry signal command. Taking it a step further, Spaceman gives you other LFO, tape, and comb filter modes that enables maximum control over the sweep's rise and fall times and filtering effects that results from constant, manual, or frozen cycles. The accompanying trigger foot switch has a different function in each mode, from manual tape style flanging between two points to toggling between your two comb filter presets. It's plain to see the Aurora gives you the keys to explore those colorations and sweet spots along the sweep that you won't find on any other pedal. Let's just start with a classic slow flange tone with plenty of regeneration or feedback, and I'll keep the mix at 50-50. Then I'll increase the speed a little bit and also the range, which is gonna lengthen the delay time and get you a little bit more pitch warble. So if you want some chorus tones, they're right there, and all you have to do is really back off on the regeneration at that point. In the LFO2 mode, the only difference is you get control over the rise and fall times of that triangle waveform, so you can really dial in some asymmetrical modulation. <laughs> Thank you. 
The tape mode is sort of like comb flanger, but you have control over the sweep with that trigger foot switch. You can kind of hang out in one zone by holding down the foot switch or just leaving it off. But if you want a sweep to happen, you could actually have control over how fast that happens with the rate knob. So that's kind of a fast sweep and it's kind of shallow. So let's increase it and also kind of, you know, heighten the resonant frequencies with that regen knob. And just like LFO2, Tape 2 gives you more control over those rise and fall times. And of course, this is all manually triggered with the trigger foot switch. And the comb filter setting is more of a frozen sound. And depending on where you have the regen set, you could get it sort of metallic and ringing or just a different kind of filter. And you could use that trigger foot switch to select between two different delay times with the rate and range controls. <laughs> And let's really take advantage of that mix control and dial in a very heavy handed flanger tone that's asymmetrical on the LFO2 mode and just dial that mix back. So the dry signal is definitely out front and mix and you kind of hear all this strange warble in the background.
Well, there's the Aurora from Space Man FX, and you can find out all about this powerful analog flanger at SpacemanFX.com. Thanks for watching, it's been a lot of fun, and I'll see you for another Andy Demo. Thank you.